Hi guys, welcome to Kiki TV. Today I'm going to talk to you about psychopaths. I am a holistic psychotherapist in private practice and I am a trauma therapist and an abuse survivor. And I make these videos because I wish someone would have made these videos when I was younger so I can understand because education is power and that's how we heal ourselves in our lives. So last week I talked about sociopaths in a video. This week I'm talking about psychopaths. So the difference between psychopaths and sociopaths, um, there are several, but psychopaths are born, sociopaths are made. So if a child is around a lot of violence or a lack of morals or neglect and abandonment or crime, they can be turned into over a period of time, a sociopath. But a psychopath is born that way because their nervous system does not act like a regular human's nervous system. So if I am in a fight, I go into a place of fight or flight, which means my nervous system is like, 911, you're in trouble. And it's fear and it's adrenaline and it's cortisol and it's you know, we're worried about like, what's gonna happen next and what are the consequences and am I gonna be okay? Like, you know, just worried about your mortalities in there. Psychopaths don't have any of that. So they can actually be in a fight and be very calm, think very clearly, which um, means that they can do kind of like very horrible things and not feel any adrenaline, fight or flight, their nervous system is just flat. It's also why they can clear um, lie detector tests because they're not having a biological response to lying, which regular humans do. Um, psychopaths do not have guilt. They do not have remorse. They do not care about people. They don't have empathy, but they really, the part of their, the part of a human brain that reacts to empathy, a psychopath doesn't have that. So it's not like they like are choosing to not care. They really don't care. They are not engaged. That part of their brain doesn't light up. So if there's anything inside of you that's thinking that you can make a psychopath love you properly, it is like the most dangerous person to be in a relationship with because they could literally kill you and not care. And there's a very good chance that they could get away with it because they're also very intelligent. Sociopaths, like they are grandiose and they feel like they're intelligent, but oftentimes like they're not. But psychopaths, they play the long game. They're playing chess and they're strategizing how to take everything from you and it's like a game because they're bored and empty uh studying this over the years has been very chilling for me because i just really feel like psychopaths are the closest thing to like you know like they're just not really they don't have any sensitivity they don't have any love. They, can, they aren't, it is, they can't do it. They can't do it. But what they can do is take advantage of you and manipulate you through charm. And like, they're super, like they're flattering to you all the time. And they're, um, they're manipulative in a way where they do this thing called mirroring, where they look at how you act what your mannerisms are. They listen to what you think, how you feel, what your belief systems are. And they're doing two things. They're mirroring you. So then they're giving that back to you just to say, oh my gosh, we're so much alike. Oh my gosh, we're like soulmates. Like we are, this is kismet. You know, I've been waiting all my life for someone like you because they're literally mimicking you to make you feel like you guys are soulmates. It's all just a game. They're playing you. And then the other thing about that is they're asking you all of these questions, kind of like scanning you for all of your 
um, vulnerabilities and weaknesses so they can get in. And they're asking you a bunch of questions, not talking much about themselves, but really like getting into who you are and what you've been through it. Not because they care or want to know you or want to help you recover from a difficult history. They're going to use all that against you later. They are abusive just by nature, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, sexually. Like there's no happiness with a psychopath because the whole point of a psychopath is they are a predator and they want from you what they want. And because they don't value you or anyone, um, they can get rid of you once they're done with you. Psychopathy is chilling. And really, if you know this stuff, then you can see it coming. If you don't know this stuff, you will think that a person is wonderful. They are um, gaslighty. Ga they gaslight. Gaslight E is a word I made up, but I, you know what I mean. They gaslight people all of the time. And they're also narcissistic. Narcissistic by nature. So psychopaths like feel entitled and they feel superior, which also is a reason why they can like destroy a person and not care because they're just ants. So not every narcissist is a psychopath, but every psychopath is a narcissist. So interesting, right? So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Please be careful out there. If you hear this and you're like, oh my gosh, am I with a psychopath? Leave in the safest way possible, leave. Um, they are predators and they often prey on older people and lonely people and people with low self-esteem and people who've already had trauma because they're smart. So they understand that they will feel like home to people who have already been abused. Um, they are leaders in business and they are ruthless leaders in business. I'm sure that you can think of some right now. I sure can. So very dangerous to be in any kind of relationship with a psychopath. So gently and safely make an exit strategy and get away from them because they can cause irreparable damage or worse. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Remember, you can heal and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.